Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. So I got more stuff. <laughs> so this is going to be a crystal and book haul. Uh, that's what I've been doing lately. Um, I'm involved with two book clubs. One is the Tiger's Abyss. And the other is Avalon's Witchy Book Club with Avalon Cameron. And that is through her Patreon. So, um, yeah. And so, let's see. So, the book we are now working on for uh, Avalon's book group is Silent as the Trees, Gemma Gary. Um, we're only through the first chapter, but it's really interesting. It's for uh, Devonshire, Devonshire Witchcraft, Folklore, and Magic. And uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. So, I've been enjoying this one. Of course, the Tiger's Abyss. Zach, we're working our way through Tarot Wisdom. We just had our live chat for the Empress this past Thursday. And I don't know what's next, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the Emperor. We're taking it uh, major by major because each major has a spread at the end of the chapter. So we're going major by major. And then uh, the suit cards have their own chapter or their own spread but it's like one for all suits so those are two books but um avalon's next book that she already told us to be ready for so if you're a part of avalon's book club this is the book you want it's called the chaos protocols by gordon white um it looks to be very interesting uh, very interesting. So I'm looking forward to, to reading this book when we get finished. And then I have to thank my friend, my lovely soul sister that I love so much for enabling me on books. <laughs> so she showed two books on her channel that she got, uh, especially when she was talking about Maven. Um, I can't wait to see what she's going to come up with for Samhain. Gosh, I just love her. Anyway, the two books she showed are Celebrating the Seasons of Life, Beltane to Mabin, and then the companion book is uh, Samhain to Ostara. And they just looked like they were really full of great witchy information. And so, of course, I had to go, had to go find those. Um, in addition, we've been doing a lot of talk lately um, in Avalon's book club about Anne Mora. And so I ended up getting her book, uh, The Green Witchcraft, and um, I'm keeping an eye on books two and three because they're kind of expensive. So I'm looking to see uh, if the price comes down at all. So we'll, we'll be checking that one out. So those are pretty much my books with the exception of, oh, wait a minute, the exception of this hammer dammer, which I can't wait to get into. And then... While I was at it, speaking of Anne Mora, I forgot about this. Mansions of the Moon. So I have been doing a ton of moon work uh, this year. It's all been about the moon. I've never done my whole practice. I've never really paid much attention to the moon. I've always worked by the sun and the days of the week and stuff. So this year I've been paying more attention to the moon. And I am so loving this so loving this it's like oh my gosh i should have discovered this years ago but anyways um uh, yeah so uh i got this book because this looked absolutely enticing as well so there's my book haul now my crystal babies so i've also been doing some crystal work and um for any of you who are new to my channel my thing is heart crystals I really like heart crystals, and so I have several large ones, um, and so I added, I added, so I have this lovely, which is actually a raw malachite, uh, so yeah, he's pretty big, he's pretty chunky, I just loved it, and then I'd never seen this before, well, I have a healer stone. I have a healer stone. It's a, a palm stone. But when I saw one in a heart, 
I was like, oh, that's so mine. So mine. So I have a healer stone in a heart. And then lastly, oh my gosh, you guys, so excited. Look, look at the size of this amethyst. Is this not, I mean, it's called a dream amethyst. But wow, I am just blown away by the beauty of this piece. Love it. Love it. So those are my big hearts that I recently added to my collection. Um, also in the process here, maybe about a year ago, um, I reconnected with a friend, a very good and close friend that I had 20 years ago. As a matter of fact, she's, she's partly responsible for literally saving my life after my, my marriage collapsed. The one where I told you, you know, you guys know that it was so devastating. I was almost in a catatonic state and she stayed with me, uh, to make sure I was okay until my mom could, you know, come and get me. And my mom's afraid of, af was afraid of flying. So she had to take the train from California to Virginia where I was living. So it was five days on the train. And this friend of mine who at the time was my best friend, um, stayed with me and we kind of had afterwards after I moved we kind of had a falling out over the ex-husband but anyway that's water under the bridge um, I have been trying to find her periodically through the last 20 years and I finally managed to locate her and uh, we have reconnected and I'm so grateful for this so grateful um, she's a wonderful woman and uh, I appreciated her then, and I appreciate her now. Um, so she uh, has done a lot of moving around the world and the country and a lot of things, and she just recently moved to Tennessee, and she sent me some things from a crystal cave in Tennessee. And so, so these just this is just amazing, amazing. So she sent me this, which she said is called Rose Amethyst. Rose Amethyst. And it, they almost look like little roses on, um, on top of this. But look at those pretty crystals. Pretty crystals. And it's a deep, this is a deep purple. It's a deep purple. I just, I just love it. So this is an uh, amethyst rose. And then she sent me this huge chunk of red calcite. Red calcite. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. It may look, it, it, it's more red in person, red with a like a, a pink tinge. But yeah, so she sent me this awesome piece of red calcite. She also said that the caves are known for their healing stones. And she knows this, this healing journey I'm on, this chakra journey to become a chakra therapist so, so I can help heal people as well as heal myself. And so she said a lot of people come to the caverns for these healing stones. So when she sent it to me, I do not recognize what these stones are. So here's the first one. It almost looks like it's a jasper of some sort. Um, it's got little cracks all over the surface. So I'm not sure. Any of my crystal sisters, let me know what you think about this. And then another one she sent me is this. And again, it, it looks like some kind of jasper to me uh, because it's you know dark red and I don't think it's carnelian so those are two that she sent me these I know are ammonites and so I don't have any ammonites so I'm so excited she sent me an ammonite well actually she sent me two this one is a lighter color I don't know you can, yeah, you can kind of see that it's almost a, a lighter um, orangey kind of color. 
this one. And then the other one oops, is a darker, darker brown kind of color. But I, uh, I am just thrilled to add these to, to my collection. And then lastly, this just, this just blew my mind. This just blew my mind. This is the type of person this woman is. So there's a little pouch in the box. And I take the pouch out and what is inside but a chakra wand. Look, look how beautiful this is. Is that not gorgeous? That is just so beautiful. So, yeah, she got me the chakra wand. I'm so, I mean, if you could just, I could sit here and stare at this all day and find all kinds of different things in it. But, um... I think it's, of course, clear quartz, and then amethyst, sodalite. I'm pretty sure that's green aventurine. Um, I think this might be citrine. This, I'm not sure. This might be peach adventurine, aventurine. And, of course, I think that's carnelian. But, um, oh, so good, so good. So, anyway... There is my latest crystal haul and book haul. So let me know what kind of crystals you guys are getting. What kind of books are you guys getting? That's what I'm interested in. I've been doing a lot of book reading lately, and um, it's really been nice. I miss uh, reading, you know, books. And so being involved in the two book clubs has been absolutely awesome to, to get me back into book reading again. So let me know what some of the books you are, uh, what you're reading right now, what you're loving. Okay, guys, much love, and I'll see you next time.